That's it. I'll put one more scoop just for. All right, brother. You drink carbs at all when you train? Nope. No. I'm gonna look bro, game guy. changer. Game changer. Honestly. What? It just, bro. You can keep going. Like it's like you have more gas in the tank. You yeah, know? yeah, 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 yeah. Game changer. Honestly. But how many scoops do you take? Usually? I take fifty grams of carbs. I think it's your workout. Yeah, fifty grams, and I do two scoops of the AAs. That's On leg days, I'll do seventy-five grams in the intro. Okay. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. What are you training? Legs. Are you getting it right now before you train or no? Yeah, I'm getting it right now. So I'm going to do this yeah. intro. Yeah. Okay. So that? Yeah. We're rolling. What's going on, guys? Ali here from Muscle HQ, and I am here with Leanne, our general manager. Why don't we uh, show you guys around the place some, yeah? What are we doing today? Arms? Yeah. You're doing arms. Yeah. Ready? Okay, let's go say hi to Ramon. Ramon. Show them, show them. Get them. <laughs> there he is, the owner of Muscle HQ and captain. <laughs> captain. Okay. Sorry. We're gonna go. We're gonna warm up a bit with uh, some curls and extensions. When I train arms, I like to just like just high rep stuff just to get some blood in there. Yeah. Yeah. This is me. I got. I kind of mess up elbows, so I like I, just, I have to get a lot of blood in there before I kind of move to the heavy compound stuff, right? So, that's it. Two more, two more. So, yeah. Pretty much just do quick light sets. Both of these, I'll do tricep extensions and some cable curls. And this is this might be my favorite tricep attachment. It's the uh, the rope tricep straps. So it kind of isolates the triceps and really makes you feel it. So the big thing with these is keeping your elbow fixed, right? You don't want to be doing this jerky motion, right? You want to keep it fixed, get a good stretch, contract the bottom there. That's me, brother. That's that Ali Subiki muscle, baby. Come over here, let me show what an IFBB Pro look like. Come over here, let me show what an IFBB Pro look like. Wow, wow, wow. Some girls for the girls, man. When the sleeves hug, whoo, whoo. When the bars hug the sleeves, the bitches wanna squeeze. Lift that shit, baby. High protein dishes break the bitches. Yes, sir. Where do you find this from? Where do you get these words? We're just gonna keep this going, just back and forth. Again, not a lot of rest, but just getting a lot of blood in there, getting a good pump going before we jump over to, again, the heavy compound stuff. So, we're gonna get right back into it. curls, the big thing here is controlling it throughout the entire range of motion here. So you don't want to just drop the weight, control it down, right? So that negative portion, it's important. It's about 50% of the movement, so you want to make sure the whole portion of the movement is controlled. And it's your biceps doing all of the work here. Then again, yeah, the carbs, they make sure that I can keep it going. They make sure that, you know, usually if, I, and I notice it right away, if I'm not drinking this, the gas in the tank just isn't there, you know? Halfway through the workout, I'll, my pump will die or just won't have the strength to keep going, but I definitely recommend it's your workout to, honestly, anyone that trains hard. What's, what's a good advice for people that don't train? Like, what, what should they eat before or after? What should they eat before? So definitely things that don't 
ruin your digestion, right? You don't want to have pizza for a workout, right? Or even just generally a lot of food. You don't want the food to be sitting in your stomach. You want the blood to be going into your muscles and not your digestive tract trying to absorb and assimilate all that. So eat a good hearty meal, you know, an hour before the gym and something to give you some energy, but not so much that it bogs you down, right? So. So those right there, if you saw those, those partial reps, that's another thing a lot of people forget. It's another way to go past failure, right? When you can't go through the full range of motion, do what you can in the range of motion that where you, you're still able to, right? So just these little things that you're leaving gains on the table. You don't want to do that. So for the next, kind of the, the heavy tricep exercise that I like to start with, either tricep dip or uh, the close grip bench press. Usually that on the Smith machine, but um, I feel like dips today, so we'll do dips. So again, now that we're all warmed up, we don't have to start too light. We pretty much go right into it. I kind of like to do a set at first, just to, not very heavy, but not light, but enough to get a feel for the exercise, right? Get any, get my positioning just right, and make sure I'm feeling it where I'm supposed to be feeling it. And sometimes I don't feel it. Sometimes it's just, this exercise is not what I'm gonna be doing that day. And so if I don't feel it where I'm, I know I should be, I'll move on and find something else, right? So again, I'm gonna do a set here, just probably eight reps or so, get acclimated to the weight. So yeah, right there, I probably could have pushed out maybe four more reps, but we're saving our strength for our top set, which is kind of the set that really matters, right? It's this set that we're looking to break barriers and set PRs and, you know, push that strength and really cause some hypertrophy there. So probably rest for about two, two three minutes between sets. I know it's a long time for some, but um, I, I like to make sure that I'm fully rested and fully recovered so to make sure that my especially my top set, I'm able to give 100% to it, right? So we're gonna take a, take a little breather. We're gonna drink some carbs, give it a minute and get back to it. All right. Yeah, so my uh, my top set, I really want to make sure I go to failure. So any uh, any intensifiers, drop sets, supersets, whatever I can do to totally fatigue the muscle. Yeah, yeah so that's, that's how a set should be done, right? It's kind of, should be intense. You should, uh, you know, be struggling to recover afterwards, but that's that's what it really, really means to train. And for people to, for you to really see results, you know, so yes, it's important to watch what you eat and, and all that, but you know, if you want to build a physique, it comes down to building it here and really pushing your limits. Top set of every exercise, I'll usually do what's called a back off set, where I back off the weight some, and um, it's still explosive, it's still, it's not light, but I'm focusing more on really the squeeze and the contraction there. So again, that top set where you're trying to push PRs, um, your form should still be tight, but it might not be optimal. So this, we're kind of taking the chance to back off some and really make sure that every every point, of the range is controlled. And again, you're feeling everything exactly where you should be feeling it. So for these, I like to aim 12 to 15 reps. So after uh, 
dips. I move on to kind of my main heavy compound movement for, for biceps. Well, not really compound, but heavy. So this one here, we're pushing, again, pushing to break PRs and get stronger. And again, the easy curl barbells is kind of my go-to here. So we'll start off with a set again, just to get acclimated to the weight, feeler set. And uh, with these, I like to do them a little differently than most people. So the typical bicep curl that I see, well, usually looks something like this where everyone's you know, swinging all over the place, but typically most people keep their elbows here to the sides and curl, right? Which is good. But what I like to do is put my elbows in front of me, right? And that allows for a lot more range of motion here. <clears throat> and again, you want to keep the entire portion of the movement here controlled, the contraction and the negative. Contraction and the negative. It was in midair. Wow. Partials, no, <laughs> denied. Coach Ryan, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, bro, we shot like you spent half an hour, half an hour break from the workout to shoot five different sets of biceps. Oh, man. Okay, so just finished up dips, easy bar curls. So now we're gonna go do another tricep exercise. So with this one here, we'll probably go Back here, and we're not gonna be doing extensions, but we're gonna be doing overhead trash extensions here, like this. So with this here, I like this because you really get a good stretch on each rep. So again with this, I like to make sure I'm keeping that those up as fixed and above the head there. And again, controlled, controlled. Get a good stretch, exploding contract. Can't get any more. You squeeze out a few portions. Oof. So for this, I'll, do, I'll usually do something a little more higher rep. Kind of towards the end of the workout, I'll uh, after we're done with kind of the heavy exercises, um, I like to really bump my rep range up to kind of 12 to 15. Um, I just feel like towards the end of it, when you're not really, your kind of strength is kind of your gas is kind of running low. We're focusing more on just really making sure that we're getting the most and really maximizing how much we're doing here in the workout. Yeah, but usually keep my rest periods a little shorter for these sets here. Yeah, I'm tight, tight. The comeback. Yeah. I think I'm up uh, 20 pounds. 
past three weeks now. Nice. Uh, finally getting back into training, getting back to eating. All right, so it's so it's, it's fun. It's fun to see how quick you can transform when you start getting everything in line, right? All the training, the diet, and everything. So excited to see what we can do the next few months. In terms of, yeah, when it comes to coaches, just because someone's a good competitor, it doesn't necessarily mean they're a good coach, right? It's it's uh, definitely a competitor, someone that's been through it, knows what kind of it takes, but it doesn't necessarily, being a coach means that you know how to work with people. It means you know how to put yourself in their shoes. It means that you know what they're dealing with and um, how they can go about manipulating whatever they need to do to make sure that they can get to ultimately whatever their goal is, right? So that's kind of what a, what a coach is there for, to kind of look at your situation from a third point of view and kind of tell you what you need to be doing that you're not to get to your yeah. goal, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything to add, Brian? No, it sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds great. <laughs> All right, back to it. What are we doing? Go back to triceps. We're back here to the functional trainer. Last time we used the tricep straps to um, you know, kind of really activate the triceps and get everything to get all the blood flowing, but now we're gonna switch to this grip here and go back to doing press downs. Except this time we're gonna go heavy. All right, so. Again, we'll do a feeler set, kind of get a sense for the weight. Drop set, we're gonna go for about eight to nine. We'll probably make it into a drop set too. Oh, my elbows are not liking this. Okay. And again, full stretch on each rep, but keeping those elbows stationary. And then we'll finish off. Back with these tricep straps. Put them on here. And we'll go into overhead tricep extensions. It's uh, something I like to finish with just because of the stretch position that it puts you in right here. Good, brother. And that's a wrap for arm day. Again, it's not really too long or anything, but again, I hit arms every three days. A um, lot of volume, a lot of frequency, just trying to bring them up, right? So just uh, as, re as soon as they're ready to go again, I, I hit it. Rest, recover, back at it. So that's it. Gonna Good work out. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So that's that's just that's one day in the bag. Tomorrow, I think, what we're doing, we're doing legs. Well, yeah. so, uh, mentally prepare for that. You gotta eat, you know, nutritionally prepare for that. And, and yeah, brother, the comeback, the comeback is gonna be good. Yes, sir. But that's about it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys uh, wanna see any other workouts in particular, you guys just drop a comment below. Let me know, and we will show you guys exactly what you guys wanna see. Um, that's about it for today's episode, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and again, Drop a like, drop a comment. I want to show you guys whatever you guys want to see here. So that's it. Signing out. Peace.